The idea for Ragged Leg has been kicking around a long time. I don't know exactly where it, where it started. I was up working on a story, The Last Guy for the Ottawa Citizen. That's almost 15 years ago. I was walking by a lake up uh, by Algonquin Park, and there was an ice fishing hut out in the middle of the lake. And as I was walking by, there was a flash of light inside the hut. Several flashes. I think there was three. And I thought, that's odd. But what could that be? And I imagined it being something nefarious. What if that was a shotgun blast? What if something horrific had just happened in that ice fishing hut? It was probably just somebody having trouble lighting a kerosene lantern. I'm sure that's what it was. Uh, but that same night, about 15 years ago, that night, in the motel I was staying at, I wrote a few paragraphs. And a few of those paragraphs are in Ragged Lake. And that's how it started. A year and a half ago, I decided, well, I don't want to be the journalist that always has an unfinished novel in the drawer of their desk. Uh, so let's finish this thing. So I started with about, I'd estimate about a quarter of what you're reading today would have been sitting on my desk. And I started just determined to finish it. And I finished it within uh, four months, I believe. The Last Guide, the sequel that came out last year, The Last Guide's Guide. If people are familiar with those books, they'll find the setting and the locale very familiar. Frank Yakubuski, by the way, is my main character. He's a detective in this fictional town called Springfield on this fictionalized Northern Divide. So I've taken real places and I've turned them into fiction. I love Ottawa. I love this region. I love the Ottawa Valley, the Algonquin Highlands. Uh, I love heading north from Ottawa as soon as you're an hour north of Ottawa. It starts to feel good. Um, so it's very important. And the writers that I've always admired, it's always been very important to the writers that I've always admired, uh, starting with Hemingway over there, you know, the importance of place to Hemingway, Paris, Spain, Cuba. Uh, Jim Harrison, Legends of the Fall. Jim Harrison has written his whole life in the upper Michigan Peninsula. Um, it, so place is very crucial to their writing, and I want it to be very important to my writing as well. Uh, I, I would even go so far as to say if you're a writer, whether it be nonfiction or fiction, um, unless you're writing about a place that you are familiar with and that is important to you, I don't know why you're doing it. 